Good morning, folks. Today has been a struggle. I couldn't make any kind of video and I'm gonna try to make lemonade out of lemons. And I'm gonna make a video about my struggle. And this video will be the first of a series of videos that I think I'm gonna make about the things that I learned from life scope. Okay. And every video will have just one point. And the point of today's video is one of the things that I learned from life scope is that crappy just whoa as soon as I was gonna make my point and I got a bite. The point in today's video is that crappy just don't bite good in August okay because I'll tell you why I'm making this video I saw a lot of crappy youtubers say that you know it's a popular misconception that the crappy don't bite in the summer and then they go and make a YouTube video where they catch a bunch of crappy in the summer or in August and they give you some tips listen you, you can still catch crappy in the summer, especially with live scope. You will always catch crappy. But I'm here to tell you that crappy, the bite drops like 90% in the summer. Okay, okay, don't, don't get hung on the 90%. Maybe it's 70% in your lake, maybe it's 60. I think it drops more than half, a lot more than half where I live. Because on this lake in the spring i have a video of me catching 300 fish okay i never published this video because i didn't want to burn these pots it's not here don't come here now but i caught 300 fish but every day in the spring i was catching 200 fish at least i mean you could catch 200 fish from a single school just lock up on a school these schools were gigantic and you can pluck them out for hours and the schools didn't even end. I don't know, new fish came to the school. As soon as I start talking, somebody will drive by with a 10 horse. But, okay, I thought maybe the fish in the summer go somewhere else where I just can't catch them because previous years I also struggled in the summer, but I didn't have the light scope. But now I can see the fish. The brush that I'm fishing right now I'm going to show you on the video. This brush has fish, folks. I mean, it's littered like a Christmas tree. I don't know how many fish, but there's got to be 20 or 30 crappie. I've struggled with this brush 45 minutes. I caught only like, I don't know, two or three crappie. I think I caught two little crappie and one bluegill for 45 minutes. The previous brush, I think I got one bite. I mean, I spent 45 minutes on the previous brush, didn't even catch a fish, just one bite. And what I can see on the live scope is that the fish, I'm dangling the plastic worm. I don't use live bait. I'm dangling, I'm going to make another video about live bait. The plastic worm in front of its mouth and they will not eat it. Okay. So compare this with the spring behavior. Maybe I should be fishing while I'm talking, but let me finish this. In the spring, you can cast the jig over there. If they see it, they run and they smack it. Then later on, they run, but they investigate it and sometimes don't smack it. Now they don't have to run. I dangle it in front of their mouth. I'm fishing 10 feet from the brush, 15 feet from the brush, so I can dangle it right in front of their mouth. I never in the spring get that close to the brush because I don't want to spook the fish. But now I'm desperate. I want to dangle right in front of their mouth. They're not interested. So my catch rate dropped from, I don't know, between 200 and, 30, and 300 fish consistently. I catch dinks, but I catch numbers in the spring to now 30 fish for all day in August. So for me, the bite drops like, I don't know, 80 to 90 percent. Uh, and, you know, when somebody tells you that's a misconception, you can still go catch them. It's not a misconception at all. They are very tough to catch in the summer, particularly in August. I find August to be the most difficult 
um, month for crappy fishing. Let me cast a little bit while I'm talking, so maybe I catch one fish, make the video more entertaining. But yeah, I find this kind of disingenuous and annoying when people with the live scope come and tell you you can catch the fish all summer. It's not a problem if only you get this uh, bait. Look, now I'm getting a bite just to disprove my point. Well, not that easy, but I think I had a bite. But yeah, folks, I'm here to tell you and I don't care. I don't know who is the world champion in crappy fishing or who is the best bi crappy biologist. But if somebody tells you that the, the bite doesn't drop in the summer, I'm ready to debate them. I don't care who they are. Set it up and I will debate them. And I have my theory about why this is happening because everything is for a reason. The crappy cannot stop eating. They need to eat. And their metabolism is even faster than you know when the water is cold. So why would they not eat in the summer? I think they keep eating. The problem is the damn minnows. I don't know what's in, in your lake, but all of my lakes, recently, the whole surface got covered with minnows. This one inch, I don't know, they're all so tiny. So, the, I mean, why would they, I mean, they don't even have to try. If they run through a school of minnows, they get the belly full right away. Why would they eat a plastic? It doesn't look like a minnow. So I think there are natural reasons that explain this phenomenon. But whatever the natural reason is, let me try to catch at least one fish on video. Come on, let me get one fish on video. Oh, maybe I will get a fish on video. Oh, look at that. Look at that, folks. So yeah, it is possible. Eh, little dinky. I'll take him on a date like today. I don't have a single keeper yet. I mean, what keeper? I have only like five or six fish total. Usually I need to catch 20 or 30 fish to get, to get one 10 incher. But yeah, that is my point of this video. This is the first thing I'm sharing with you today from a new series, what I learned from LiveScope. The first, the first thing is the fish just don't bite in the summer. They don't bite. You can always edit a 10 hour video and make a, a 10 hour fishing session and make a 10 minute action packed video where you kill them on the, in the summer and you catch these big slabs. But I don't know, at least in Illinois, I guess it, it is possible to have a some lake somewhere with active bite all summer if they don't have minnows or something. So I'm sure my conclusion will not apply everywhere all the time. But still folks, I'm telling you, it's just tough in, in August. It's not you, okay? It's not you, it's everybody. The fish, I'm dangling this thing. I mean, again, look how many fish is on this brush here. I think it, it may be more than more than 30 fish. And what? I mean, this worm has, has got to be surrounded by fish and they just don't want to bite. So yeah, that's the point of today's video. August just sucks for crappy fishing. It's not just you, okay? August sucks for crappy fishing, you can trust me. There will be some exceptions somewhere, but in general, August, August just sucks. All right, if this video is not over after this, that means I caught a few more crappy and I'll keep it rolling for a couple more minutes, but uh, I'm done with my message. So as always, thank you for watching. See you soon, bye-bye. Is this a fish? Oh my god. What did I get?
What line do I have on this rod? Ah, uh, no net, come on! Hopefully just a channel catfish so I'm not pissed off. Yeah, the way he's digging. Probably a channel catfish. Don't cut me off before I see you. Come on. Come on, let me see you first. Let me see you first. Channel catfish. Okay, buddy. Now I'm more concerned about my JDM hook than I am about losing him. Wow. Okay. That was a good fight.